Hey, Lara, do you have a minute? Come over if you have time. Uchu and I were talking, and, well... Uchu, what's on your mind? The day of Edsley's coronation is approaching. Soon he will be a man and take the first steps towards becoming Paititi's future king. Oh, that sounds like a day to look forward to. It's the hope for that day that keeps a lot of us fighting Amaru and his cult. Sometimes we all need to remember what we're fighting for. Is there something I can help you with? When Esli's father Sairi died, Unaratu bestowed the honor of surrogate father unto me. One of my duties is to gather three sacred items for the ceremony, but... But with all that's happening right now, you aren't able to. What are these items? They are the Savior's amulet, the champion's bow, and the king's horn. Each a blessing from the ancestors of the future king. Tell me what you need and I'll see what I can do. I already have men retrieving the amulet and bow, but if you could find Kabil, the instrument maker, and get the king's horn from him, he would be doing us a great favor. He's been difficult. I sent two men and both have failed. Perhaps you could talk to his wife. I think I can manage that. Be mindful. Kabil can be prickly sometimes, but Abra, his wife, has a way of dulling his edges. I can see you, even if no one else can. Father, father, come quick! It's the Ishiki! What do you want? We don't have time for Unuratu's rebellion right now. Are you Kabil? Uchu sent me for the king's... The king's horn? The call to the future? <laughs> Look at the good that future's done for my present. Just go. The cult found out my dad was making the horn. They poisoned our crops as punishment. Mom got sick. My brother Kuali went to the market to get herbs, but... He hasn't returned. That's terrible. Let me see if I can find your brother and get the herbs you need. Thank you. Excuse me. Ah, Ishiki. How can I help you? I'm looking for Kuali, the son of Kabil. Oh, that poor boy. Chimali, one of Kukulkan's thugs, is holding him in a cell up at the market, waiting for the Ahau to come to punish him. Thank you. Be well, Ishiki. Bastard. A herb thief. He must be very dangerous. Today it's theft, and tomorrow it's murder. That's quite a leap, don't you think? You really want to know what I think? I think we should round up all these little rats and drown them. Every one of them, especially Yumil. His father may be a serpent guard, but he is not. Hey, you're Ishiki, from the outside, right? Yes, it's nice to meet you. Well, me, I'm Yamil. <laughs> what sort of game are you boys playing? It's not a game. My father is a serpent guard, a priest. I took his ceremonial knife to show my friends, and Shimali the guard saw. Shimali knows what father would do if he found out I took the knife, so he threw it up there. Now it's stuck. Oh, let me see what I can do. Wow, really? Thank you. Thank you, Ishiki. You're welcome. Hey, wait a minute. The grown-ups around here always chase us away. But you helped. What do you want? Shh, I'll do the talking. 
So what do you want, Ishiki? I mean, is there something we can do to pay you back? I'm trying to help Kuali. You're too late. He's been sentenced to death. We can't do anything. And Chimali the guard hates you. Would Chimali chase you if you provoked him? Why? Because if he's not at his post, I can get to Kuali. Yeah, I like it. Oh, you can tell Kuali to meet us at the cave. He'll know where it is. It'll be safe for him there. I will. Let's go. Asto, Remy, with me. Samin, watch our backs. Then run to the cave. Stand back, Ishiki. We'll give you an opening. Shimali, you coward! You'll end your life as a slave! Come taste my blade! <laughs> yeah, and taste llama patties too! Run, run! Little thieves should be punished. Please, they were just herbs. I beg you. Your brother told me of your troubles. Wait, who are you? Someone who wants to help. I never wanted any of these to happen. I was only trying to help my mother get well. Where are the herbs? Give them to me. I will heal your mother. Go. Your friends are waiting for you at the cave. Thank you. Here are the herbs. I'll run as fast as I can. I thought I told you to go. Kuali is safe and I have the herbs your wife needs. Really? And did you come to cure her or to barter for the king's horn? Here, this will help you. Bless you, Ishiki. Kabil, quit being an ass. Give her the horn. <sighs> Here, with respect to the future king, thank you for all you've done. Thank you. Last to leave and first to return. Jonah's stories of you are true. The King's Horn, as requested. Did Kabil give you any trouble? You were right about his wife. She definitely had a way with his heart. Thank you for this, Lara. Of course. Uchu, what did you mean, last to leave and first to return? The men I have retrieving the other two items, they both left three days ago. Neither has returned. Do you think something's happened to them? It's Quinty that concerns me the most. He's young, likes to take risks. Jumps into the water before checking to see how deep it is. I know the type. Jonah. Jonah's right. That describes Quenty perfectly. I never should have sent Quenty to that damn place. Mm, what place is that? The old cistern. It's where the remains of Manko are kept hidden from the cult. Who is Manko? He was a farmer who led Sairi and Amaru's ancestors out of Cusco to safety centuries ago. He is known as the peasant savior. It's his amulet we need for the coronation. Why was Manko hidden away? Manko's followers were known as the Order of the Peasant Savior. This rebellion was born from it. When the cult of Kukulkan first took power, they tried to wipe out the Order. Manko was hidden away in a secret place and kept safe. But over time, as the Order dwindled, the memory of that place has faded. If you like, I could go look for Quenti. You've done a lot already. Bringing back the King's Horn was a big gesture of friendship. I don't mind, really. Maybe Quenty can show me the best cliffs to jump off. Please don't encourage him. The entrance to the cistern is a cave above the white tree. Follow the trail, it'll lead you to it.
Chu said the entrance to the cistern was a cave above the white tree. the entrance. No one's been through here in centuries. This has to be the right place. Manko's resting place. This looks suspicious. Hello, Manko. Now, where's the amulet? Now, to get this back to Uchu, there's light coming through this wall. Another sealed up passageway, I bet.
Ah, uh, Laura, I'm glad you're back safely. Quinty returned shortly after you left. In one piece, but empty-handed, I'm afraid. He's safe. That's the important thing. <sighs> I wish we could say the same for Zan. Kukulkan curses his coronation, I swear it. Zan? Is he the other man you sent out? Yes, he was looking for the champion's bow. A group of hunters just pulled his body from the wilderness. Uchu, I'm sorry about your friend. If there is some good news in all of this, I did find the Savior's amulet. What? You did? Lara, that's incredible. Here. Thank you. Lara, I hate to ask you, but... But, would I go and get the champion's bow? It's a lot to ask. This is the most difficult of the items to retrieve. Zan was one of our best. May I ask what makes this bow so special? Queen Unaratu's ancestors carved it from the first Seba tree to grow in the wilderness outside the city. It has been handed down through generations. She bestowed it upon Sairi, Etsli's father, on their wedding day. It joins the two families together, but it was lost many years ago, taken by the Nahual. The Nahual? That's someone who has the power to transform into an animal, right? Yes. This one stalks the jungle outside the city. Envious, it tricks Sairi into giving it the bow. Etsli is the rightful heir of the champion's bow. Without it, he cannot be king. Okay. Point the way. Thank you. You will find the entrance directly across from here, up the shore of the river. Don't worry. I'll do my best to get the bow. This must be the jungle entrance. Not very inviting, but I suspect that's the point. You go first. First? I'm not going in there at all. Did you see the guy they pulled out of there? What was left of him? Come on, just to the top of the path. If it's anywhere, I'll bet the champion's bow is in there.
All right, let's get this bow back to Uchu. The Champion's Bow, the final piece to herald in the future of Paititi. And what of the Nakwa? Did you face it? I did. It's dead. Tell me, what shape did it take? It was a jaguar. Ah, the most powerful of its forms. It must have seen you as a formidable foe. Uchu, how long has this Nawal been in the jungle? As children, there were always stories to keep us from straying beyond the bounds of Paititi. But since Amaru took power, the Nakwa has been more active. You believe Amaru commands the Nawal? Yes, to keep his hands on our throats, but no longer. You have done a great thing for the future of Paititi, Lara. I would be honored if you would join us for the ceremony of kings. The honor would be mine. Here, I have something for you. This is from the armor Etsli's father, Sairi, wore. It is a symbol of your bravery. I would like you to have it. Thank you, Uchu. Son of Unuratu, son of Sairi, step forth. Within the Savior's amulet is the wisdom of your ancestors. Listen to it, so that you will enjoy in equity and mercy in all judgments. Within the champion's bow is the strength of your ancestors. Respect it, so that you will enjoy in responsibility and fairness in leadership. Finally, within you, young Etzli, is the future. Infuse your role as king with action. Create hope. Create love. Not by passively waiting for grace to come down from up on high, but by doing what you can to make grace happen yourself. People of Paititi, it is with great pride that I introduce to you Etsli. Son of Unuratu, son of Sairi, and your 